Sorry. Now, if we get a piece of the World Cup games, we are told that every single one of those games is going to be played right there in Paul Brown Stadium. That's a football stadium. How, yeah. how does that happen then? Yeah, you know, lots of people might not realize that when Paul Brown Stadium was built, it was, of course, built to be a football stadium. But, but look at this animation that uh, was provided to us. It shows Paul Brown Stadium as, of course, a football stadium. But it also shows uh, how it can be transformed. You, you can kick out the corners of the seating bowl for it to transition to a full soccer pitch. Now, unlike TQL Stadium on the other side of town, though, where FC Cincinnati plays, Paul Brown Stadium does, uh, does not have real grass. It's artificial turf. So if Cincinnati's bid is successful, that would need to be addressed immediately. So what it really comes down to size-wise is that an NFL field is about 53 yards wide. They'd have to expand that by about 17 yards to make it a FIFA regulated soccer field. And in order to do that, you're gonna to have to move around the bleachers a little bit and make that happen. But the point is, they can do that here. It was built for that. All right, that's cool. So listen, the transition to grass would just be one thing that would need to be addressed. There are plenty of other questions. What happens after today's FIFA visit? They're still in town right now. They should be leaving very soon. So coming up at six, the process going forward, including when we will know if Cincinnati made the cut.